Our first question will come from the line of Kevin Varghese. Your line is live. Hey, Georgie, how are you doing? Good, uh, good. My question is, is um, how has uh, how has uh, you how have you been handling the training camp with the whole coronavirus been going on? I've been handling really well, man. I don't I don't watch TV. I don't listen to the media. Uh, I got back from Ireland. I took a week off, and uh, I was back in the gym and just training, getting better. Uh, for this fight, uh, are you going to be taking any different approaches with your opponent or not? Uh, my approach with every fight is to finish him, so it doesn't change anything up. Just going to go out there and look for a finish. Uh, so if you win this fight, what, what do you plan on doing next? I plan on coming back in two weeks and fighting there again, but uh, if they keep me busy, man, I, I want to fight at least four times, so uh, there's a few uh, 50 fires on my list, uh, uh, so I would like to get hold of them. All right, all right, Georgie, thanks and good luck this uh, Friday, all right? Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Our next question comes from Steve Jewin. Your line is live. Thank you, Georgie. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And you mentioned that win in Ireland. That was a very dominant performance against Paul Redmond. Is that more satisfying to you after some of the recent frustrations you've had in Russia and elsewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty satisfying uh, uh, to go out there uh, against a hometown fighter and just, uh, you know, get the W. Uh, but uh, I feel like the ups and downs are part of the sport, so uh, it doesn't bother me. I understand that. But speaking of those ups and downs, you are a former champion from your World Series of Fighting days. Is that something that you're looking forward to getting back into contention in Bellator? Because you've been there before. Of course. Of course. Uh, uh, Pitbull is the 55, 45-pound champion. Uh, I don't see myself anytime soon going back to 45. Uh, but, uh, yeah, after this fight... Mm, I don't think I should be in any title contentions. There's a lot of guys, uh, there's a few guys ahead of me, but uh, I keep stacking up some wins and uh, I think the title will come soon. That's fair. And you said that you had a few names on your list and that you'd like to stay really active. Can you give us at least one of those names that you'd like to fight next? Uh, one of those guys actually on the same card, he's finding the main event. So uh, it's, his name is Ben Henderson. So uh, uh, we'll see how that fight goes, but uh he fought my training partner, Saeed Awad, and uh, I feel like I match up with him really well. He's, he's a great fighter, but he's, he's one of them. All right. Well, hopefully that fight's coming your way, and we look forward to seeing how you do on Friday. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, our next question comes from Ben Keeley. Your line is live. Hi, Georgie. Um, so uh, when you're in Dublin, I understand your wife had a baby the night you fought Paul Redmond. So uh, how did, can you just describe me how that happened? I know you only found out on the night, or was it after the fight you found out? Yeah, so as soon as, uh, as, soon as the fight was done, uh, I pretty much FaceTimed my mother-in-law because she was there with her. And uh, she had the baby like literally like an hour after the fight. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so how was... Uh, father have been like is this your first uh, child this is my third one it was a boy okay. so no more kids for me you know i have two daughters <laughs> and i have a baby boy so that's it uh maybe i'll go chop chop my little thing so i don't have many babies but uh but yeah <laughs> no more kids for me <laughs> <laughs> um i know your friends uh got into the, uh, some sort of altercation in the kebab shop in dublin as well can you explain to me what happened there too yeah, they were uh, so uh, the second night we were in Ireland, they went out and uh, they were uh, like a group of guys. I think they were like 16, 17 years old. Uh, they didn't like their, uh, I guess they didn't like their attitude. So uh, they wanted to beat them up really bad, but they didn't know their fighters. But, uh, you know, my, my, my corners, you know, they, they kept it professional because I don't think they want to get in a fight with them. It was a group of good guys, you know, Saeed Awad, Juan Archuleta, <laughs> Arnold, and there's a lot of fighters there. So uh, it was all cool, you know. I think the the, the cops came in, and it, it, it was great. So not, nothing serious happened. 
God, they dodged a bullet there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> any? Uh, did you get any new? Develop any new hobbies with the under the lockdown measures? Or are you busy training? Man, I just stayed busy, bro. I I trained a lot. I I read a bunch of books. Um, I uh, I work with my kids. We're gardening a lot. We're outside a lot. Uh, playing soccer with my kids. Uh, it, it's weird. I, I feel like the one thing I benefited is just. I was really close with my family and my kids, but I got connected in a weird way. And uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, and one last question for me. Um, why Benson Henderson? Why do you single him out as the person you want to fight? I think I match up pretty well with him. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Just I, I feel like watching his past few fights, I match up really well with them. And, uh, you know, that's that's in the future, but, I think I'll do really good against Ben. Uh, just nothing but respect to, to him. And uh, yeah, but I feel like I match up good. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our last question comes from Kevin Varghese. Your line is live. Hey, uh, Georgie. Uh, I have one last question for you. Um, so in the post-fight uh, press conference for um, uh, Bellator 242, uh, you know, we, uh, Aaron Pico was asked about, you know, possibly fighting AJ McKee and, uh, he, uh, put it to the side that AJ would be moving up to 155. Uh, I know you fought him in the Bellator featherweight grand prix and it was a quick fight. Uh, we really didn't get to see you fight him properly. Uh, would that be a possible rematch for you in the future? Of course. Of course. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm like... I would like to get my rematch, but uh, I want to stack up some wins. But yeah, man, like I didn't get to display what uh, you know what kind of fire I'm that night. I got caught. All the props to AJ. You know, I wanted to go ahead and win that million dollar tournament. But uh, of course, at 55, you know, I, I have a mentality of kill or be killed, and that's how I've been my whole career. So uh, uh, I would like to. That's that's that's. A, I didn't know this, but yeah, I would, I would like to do that. That's for sure. All right. Thank you, Georgie. We'll be back shortly with Tim Johnson.